Right back to you. What do you say, team? Let's go give. see behind there and uh, Nikki D. Ray is in Storm Rider 6 along with Louie and they're going to be giving you shots live on that two and a half mile stretch from the Science Museum down to 7th Street where the uh, Richmond Coliseum is. Can't wait to hear that commentary. Can't wait to see the people that came out here to brave the weather to see this parade today. We've had a little uh, mist this morning, some misty drizzle, uh, but that the umbrellas are down now, so I think we're, we're okay. We might be in the clear for this. Uh, this is where the parade starts, at the Science Museum of Virginia. It's gonna come around the U-Front Circle mm -hmm. in the front, and then it's gonna head up Broad Street for two and a half wonderful miles. I love the marching bands, mm -hmm. which is one of my favorite. I love the fact that all the young people are involved <laughs> in the parade and, and, and being able to experience this. We've been out here since about seven o'clock this morning, mm -hmm. and a lot of these people were out here at that time too. The mm -hmm. crowd started to gather at about 7 a.m. We have a great crew here that's uh, been offering us uh, coffee and donuts, of course, every time we come and do the parade. This is you're not. This is our 13th time that you and I have, have uh, hosted the have Christmas hosted parade together. together. Isn't that great? I've taken part in every parade since 1985. But even even though we have this great uh, group of people here with uh, you know that always cater to us with the, the donuts and coffee, as we were walking into the science museum, there were people that were offering us hot chocolate from their thermos and bringing homemade candies and stuff and sharing it with people in the crowd. I just love this time of year and I just love that sense of giving. It's, awesome. it's the season of giving and the, the, the spirit of humanity is everywhere. The uh, stands are ready and we're seeing the first unit start to pull around. That's the, um, the Richmond Police Honor Guard, I believe, is going to be leading off the parade this morning. As we mentioned, we have nearly 100 units to present to you this morning. And in that 13 years that uh, Cheryl and I have been bringing you this, it's kind of neat to see the advancements in technology that we've had from the parade. We used to just see the uh, the ground version, the ground uh, uh, cameras that would show you the parade as it passed by. But now we're going to be, later in the broadcast, we're going to be bringing you shots from drones overhead, giving you a bird's eye view of what uh, this looks like. We're, again, we're going to be uh, taking you live down Broad Street, that two and a half miles. And these are the, uh, the policemen that are going to lead the way. And behind them are going to become, uh, like you said, nearly 100 units, the, the marching bands. The balloons, the floats are amazing this year. We saw some of them set up in the parking lot, and they look really good. And this is the Richmond Police, uh, the motorcycle units, and I believe the Mounted Guard is going to be here as well this morning. The crowd excited to see the motorcycles passing behind us right now with engines revving. You can hear the crowd. They're ready to get this party started. That's one thing about this parade. It runs with the precision of a parade starting right on time. I want to thank all of our uh, first responders out there, especially our police officers who are out there in this uh, in this uh, weather. And this is the Richmond Police Mounted Unit, which is one of the longest continuous mounted units in all of America. The Richmond Mounted Unit is supported by a nonprofit group called the Friends of the Richmond Mounted Squad. Beautiful. I, I love the horses, and this is probably a, a good opportunity for a lot of the people in the crowd to see horses up close and personal for the very first time. Louis saw one earlier. He said that was one big dog. He didn't know how to handle it. That was pretty funny. And again, the enthusiasm will last for a two and a half mile route down Broad Street. A lot of them walking and getting their exercise this morning. Oh, it's great to see the mounted police at uh, parade events and also uh, helping out uh, with crowd control and things like that. The big events that uh, in Richmond uh, brings to the area. And, uh, they do a great job. And they love those horses too. They take great care of them. They do. I believe it's kind of like the canines. They have their own horse that they take care of and uh, keep an eye on and work with. 
And again, you can see the, the size of the crowd that will continue to grow throughout the morning here. Some of them have been out here since uh, when we got here about 7 o'clock this morning. So they're ready to get the parade underway. That looks great. And behind the mounted guards are the Richmond Raceway Pace Car this morning. I believe that's coming up. Saw a quick shot of it there. There it is. Richmond Raceway hosting two NASCAR race weekends a year, one in April and one in September. Uh, they recently completed a big renovation of the garages in the infield that makes you able to come out to the race and then watch the race from the garages. Gives you a different perspective out there as well. RIR has been hosting NASCAR events since 1953. Richmond Raceway now hosts a Monster Energy Cup Series playoff race along with the start of the NASCAR Xfinity Series playoffs. Bizarre Bazaar is out there. All right, here's the uh, Richmond Parade Incorporated banner. They're happy to welcome everyone to the 35th Annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. This year's theme is the magic of Christmas, and the Richmond Parade Incorporated guarantees some magical moments over the next couple of hours. Uh, joining them today are uh, some of the great superheroes of our time. We've got Spider-Man, Batman, Batgirl, Captain America, Superman, Thor, Black Panther, Okoye. It's awesome. And of course, our big hosts for the parade, the Dominion Energy Bucket Truck and Banner, featuring members of Dominion Energy's employee resource groups following the superheroes here. <laughs> they look great. They do. Dominion Energy has been a proud supporter of this Christmas parade since 2008. They've been the title sponsor since 2013. Dominion Energy, you may be familiar with them. Of course, they use renewable energy sources like solar, wind, and natural gas. Solar development here in Virginia has led to the creation of some 2,300 temporary construction jobs. Dominion Energy has helped fund solar installations at 18 schools in Central and Southwest Virginia. Two, two. Dominion Energy suggests using LED lights like we're using out here on our set instead of incandescent lights. LEDs produce very little heat. They're perfect for holiday decorations, more safe. They also last up to 25 times longer and use 75% less energy. And Cheryl, now it's time to see our Grand Marshal Snoopy on board the King's Dominion float. Uh, they're King's Dominion's iconic Eiffel Tower there with uh, lights, except you know, the one there, it's just 10 foot tall. The one at King's Dominion, it's 300 foot tall. Snoopy is the Grand Marshal with other costume characters and the cast of Charlie Brown's Christmas Spectacular there on the float. Hi, Snoopy. He joins us courtesy of King's Dominion in celebration of their brand new holiday event, Winterfest, that we encourage you to check out. Uh, they run select nights through December 31st. They transform the park into a magic winter wonderland full of enchantment and holiday cheer, featuring 11 uniquely themed areas, millions of lights, hundreds of Christmas trees, festive activities like ice skating at the park's fountain, cookie decorating with Miss Claus, and a whole lot more. And they are dancing their way along the parade route this morning. A lot of would-be entertainers uh, practice their skills at the shows at King's Dominion, which is wonderful. These are some of the 34 Midway Merriment characters you can find at the park, along with the cast of Charlie Brown's Christmas Spectacular, one of 13 live shows during Winterfest. If you'd like to find out more, visit kingsdominion.com. And here's a big draw to a lot of the kids that come out to see the parade. This is our first balloon, the Henrico County balloon, featuring Jung uh, Jingle Santa balloon. Uh, 25 feet tall, weighs 45 pounds, was made back in 1996. Took about 46, or, I'm sorry, four weeks to make. Requires about 12 handlers. Pretty cool. Henrico County, of course, dating back to 1611 with the establishment of the city of Henrico, the second English settlement in the entire New World. Today, Henrico County has a population of over 335,000. Of course, it's a tremendous place to live, work, and visit. Now it's time to take a peek at the Henrico Christmas mother. We want to thank her so much and everybody that uh, she works with. They've been helping Henrico families in need for 76 years. This year, their goal was to help 1,600 Henrico families approved for assistance. That is Angela Harper, the 20. 18 Henrico Christmas Mother. She works along with about 600 volunteers to provide this program in the Henrico County community. With her help, a lot of families with children receive food, books, clothing, and toys. So we want to thank her. And right now, we want to get to Kristen and Reva to tell us what's next. Hey guys, you know I've got a band right here behind us. Everything is great. I know the drizzle picked up a little bit, but it's wonderful out here. And look at this, the crowd you can't is even really tell. picking it's up. No yes. So what we have Henrico High School cheerleading, a stomp and shake and traditional style cheer squad coming up. 
They are community service driven. All members have a 3.0 GPA or higher. They compete in a wide range of cheer competitions up and down the East Coast. 100% graduation rate and college acceptance rate. Great job. And I can't wait for this. Of course, the Henrico County, the marching band is coming up soon, Reba. Wow, they're so good. Henrico County has received the honor of best communities for music education for the last 19 years. The only school system in the country to receive it all for 19 years. Both schools performing together today have been named Blue Ribbon Schools for Music. Freeman High School is under the direction of Rob Lincolnship and Deep Run High School is under the direction of Jim Pennington. I just kind of feel like I need my tiara right now because the magic and merriment princesses, princes Anna, Elsa, Belle, Aria, Tiana, and Aurora out here is Richmond's premier princess entertainment company. Oh, look at the florets, Kristen. They're so beautiful. I don't know how she's twirling that, but she does a wonderful job. Yeah, her daughter and granddaughter, Lisa and Marlana Carrillo, continue their legacy of teaching twirlers in the Richmond area. Twirlers for today's parade are Jess Stollard, Missy Murphy, Ashley Moore, Ashita Baski, Samantha Lilly, and Kayla Phibbs. And instructors include Julie Whitaker, Jennifer Phibbs, and Christine Martin. The Florets look forward to participating in the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade each year. Look at them go. Look at this twirl. So Did you twirl before? I have never twirled. I don't <laughs> think that I could ever do that, but those ladies are killing it today. Yeah, mine hit the ground a lot, I thought. <laughs> they look beautiful. They're so too. young, look Reba. Hand eye coordination. That's all they need. Look at that cute girl. There she is. Big <laughs> smile. She knows. She says, Hi, Mom. <laughs> I'm on TV. Look at oh, this. Oh, wow. A great crowd out here in front of the Science Museum in Virginia. She just did a flip. The ground is a little bit wet, but she stuck it. She did it. Look at them go. I can still hear the band from here. That's how good they are. Oh, look at this little girl. We could do that, Kristen. We're going to try it next time, okay? All right, I'll bring it next time. We got this. <laughs> I can't wait to see what's coming up next, Reba. Look at them. They're still marching. That's a pretty big group. Look at this. They keep getting younger and younger. Here they come. How look is their hair oh, so perfectly in place? Not a hair out of These place are the right now. These tiny twirlers. Look at them. And up next is the Richmond Ambulance Authority. They say their response times are historically among the fastest in the nation. RA ambulances are on the scene of life threatening emergency calls in less than eight minutes, 59 seconds, and 90% of the time, despite, despite being one of the busiest EMS systems per capita in the country. In 2016, the ambulances drove over 1.3 million miles or 52.46 times around oh, wow. the world. That's incredible. RAA was awarded the 2016 Virginia Governor's Award for the Outstanding EMS Agency and the Old Dominion EMS Alliance 2016 Regional Award for Outstanding EMS Agency. Of course they did. Yes. Yes, they did. NRA has been approved as an emergency medical dispatch center for excellence by the Board of Accreditation of the International Academies of Emergency Dispatch. That seems pretty good. RAA has attained accreditation six consecutive times. They're the ones that are out there on the streets keeping everyone safe. And we thank them for all the news stories we have to do with them. They are wonderful. Absolutely. I still have my tiara on. I know, I see your tiara. I guess it's time good. to take it off. You look good. <laughs> I feel like a princess. And look at this, the Richmond <gasps> Flying Squirrels. Yeah, they're baseball themed. There's party. The Flying Squirrels received the Baseball America Bond Dust Award for Organization of the Year following the 2015 season. Oh, we love these guys, Kristen. Here they come. What is that? Look at that. I know they're rapping, they aren't they? they got a party going oh, on in this place. Of course they are. We see Betsy and Natasha and party up there on the flood. Hey, party. Hi, guys. <laughs> they got a lot of guests on there. We love that. You know, there's over 400,000 fans come to the Diamond each summer to see the Flying Squirrels play baseball. Nutty and Natasha, along with the Flying Squirrels staff, make over 700 community appearances a year. We are so looking forward to this. The 2019 Eastern League All-Star Week, yes. that will be held in Richmond. That's July 7th through the 10th of next year. Opening day for the Squirrels is April 4th, 2019. And Reba, that's only 124 <laughs> days away. The countdown is well, you on. Know, you know I'm waiting for that countdown. I love <laughs> Yeah. And I bet, I bet Parney is on the way to see Greg right now. Let's check in with Greg McQuaid. Are you kidding me, Kristen Woo! and Reba? What would a Christmas parade be without this guy? He's almost as popular as Santa himself. <laughs> Parney, great to see him, my man. Unfortunately, I'm getting as fat as Santa, too. 
but you bring as much happiness. What does the Christmas parade mean to you, my man? It's one of my favorite days of the year besides opening day, 4th of July. This year, the All-Star Games are going to be here in Richmond. Love it. Our whole staff's out here having a great time in the community. All right, you're getting your exercise. You're going to go catch that float. All right, have fun going up. Barty, we love you. All right, Chris and Reba, there he goes. <laughs> he's chasing that float. All right, I you go chase that float, exercise Barty. exercise he's gotten in the last year. <laughs> Reba and Chris, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Greg. Oh, look at that crowd where Greg is right there. That's wonderful. Hey, the Chick-fil-A couch rollet for the second year in a row, Chick-fil-A has been ranked number one in customer service by the American Customer Satisfaction Index. In June, Chick-fil-A Richmond restaurants partner with feeding children everywhere to pack 80,000 meals for our community with money raised from their Cookies for a Cause promotion. Each Chick-fil-A restaurant is locally owned and operated and is focused on the community they serve. And I love going all the time. It, it would be my pleasure, yeah, Reba, right? my pleasure. Yes. Hey, next we have the Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo has a strong local presence in the Richmond metro area, as some of you, of course, know. Wells Fargo's vision is to satisfy their customers' financial needs and help them succeed financially. Founded in 1852, Wells Fargo provides banking, investment, and mortgage products and services, as well as consumer and financial finance, commercial finance. Through their branch networks, ATMs and the internet, mobile banking, and other distribution channels, Wells Fargo and its team members are committed to philanthropy and volunteerism locally in the community. And $4.3 million was granted to 887 nonprofits and schools through corporate and foundation giving in Virginia. Hey, keep it right here. More of the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade is coming up right after the break. Start your day bright with CBS 6 this morning and end your night right with CBS 6 News at 11. If a great new car is topping your list this Christmas, then hurry in to Rick Hendrick Chevy Buick GMC Richmond. We've got over 700 vehicles in stock and low prices on new Chevys that'll put even the Grinch in the holiday spirit. Just think of it as a gift from our family to yours. Find new roads today, just a quarter mile past Short Pump Mall on West Broad Street or online at HendrickRichmond.com. You too can be a Hendrick driver. Season's greetings from all of us at Colesville Nursery. We'd like to thank you for a great year. We invite you to come see us next year when we can help you. Find your roots! CBS 6 Christmas float provided by Big Tex Trailer. Welcome back, everybody, to the 35th Annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. You are looking at the VCU Peppa's Band. Boy, they really put... They the put on a, they put on a good time. Yeah, they're the student pep band who play for any and all school athletic events, they say. And they bring the energy every place they go. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> they take auditions so that they get the most enthusiastic and most talented students at VCU in the Peppa's band. Let's give them a listen.
They say give them a beat, they give us a beat. They're riding the Ucrops home style foods truck and float. And of course, Ucrops as a grocery store isn't with us anymore, but they have their home style foods that you can find in a number of different grocery stores now. Absolutely, since 37, the Ucrops family has been dedicated to the company purpose of nourishing families and communities. We thank them. The black and gold of VCU. And behind. Hey, thank you, Bobby. You crossed the up there. <laughs> bringing us White House rolls. That's what we're thank talking you, about. <laughs> This antique Ucrops truck is a 1926 model TT freight truck that Joe Ucrop brought from his neighbor in 1939. It originally was used to harvest apples and peaches from the Ucrop family farm. In 1958, the truck was sold, but then Joe missed it so much, he bought it back in 1961. Since then, the truck has been restored and is now used in community events. Since 1937, the Ucrop family has been dedicated to the company's purpose of nourishing families and communities they're involved in, like the Richmond area community. And here's the HCA Chippenham and Johnson Willis Hospitals, Willis Hospitals float. Uh, their theme this year, Grinch and the Who's of Whoville. Message on the side of the float there is, let your heart grow bigger at Christmas. Chippenham Hospital, a 466-bed acute care hospital located in Richmond, serving our community as a level two trauma center, which means they can provide fast, skilled care in serious emergencies. They specialize in pediatrics with a pediatric ER as well. All right, up next is Red Crooked Sky, sponsored by Rick Hendrick Chevrolet Buick GMC. Of course, they're the Rick Hendrick NASCAR team owner. Rick Hendrick purchased Rick Hendrick Chevrolet Buick GMC dealership back in Short Pump in 2014. Red Crooked Sky, Red Crooked Sky excuse me. Uh, many of the members that you see here are from Virginia's seven federally recognized tribes, Nansamon, Chickahominy, Eastern Chickahominy, Monacan, Pamunkey, Rappahannock, and the Upper Mattapanai. Over 80 artists here representing 37 tribes across the United States and Canada, steadily growing their resume of over 200 completed national and international performances. What you're looking at, folks, they're considered Virginia's premier indigenous performing arts troupe and one of the most recognized of its kind in the nation. A lot of the artists that you see there have been featured in a variety of publications, film, and artwork. They look amazing. And these are the Riverside Outfitters, been providing Richmond with outdoor adventures since 2005. Its summer adventure camp for kids was runner-up in this year's Times Dispatch Best of Competition. They're rowing their way down Broad Street today. They're located in the Stratford Hills neighborhood. Riverside has served over 15,000 customers this year alone. They also partner with RichmondOutside.com to bring you the weekly views from the Treehouse podcast, which was awarded Best Local Podcast in the Times Dispatch Best of Competition. Now, this is Riverside's fifth year supporting the Red Crooked Sky Dance Troupe and say enjoy the show. You know, we have right here in Richmond, the James River running through. Riverside Outfitters can help you out if you ever want to go, uh, you know, canoeing or, uh, or uh, water rafting, rafting down yeah. there. Absolutely. All right, here's the Royal X Baton Corps. They look fantastic this morning. They're under the uh, Richmond and Charlottesville area, and they're under the direction of Diane Gunnels. All of their coaches are former twirlers themselves that grew up twirling in the Royalettes. The members here ranging in ages from down to five years old up to 22. They're co-sponsored by Chesterfield County Parks and Rec. And you know they're talented when they can twirl with cold fingers. I'm telling you, they are talented. You know how talented? They're Virginia State champions in beginner and advanced team competition, and they've consistently ranked in the top five at a national competition held on the campus of Notre Dame. That's how good they are. They're right. Their motto is reach for the stars and members of the Royalettes twirl for their high schools and universities, including UVA, Virginia Tech, ODU, Villanova, NC State, ECU, and VCU. <laughs> Catch up, girls. You got it. <laughs> Staying warm this morning. A little chilly out here, but they look great. And I love their Santa-esque outfits. 
Yet again, they go from five years old all the way up to 22. Here's some of our radio friends, Mix 98.1 Intercom Radio. In the sleigh from around the world, you can find Jeff and Rebecca wake up with Wicker in the morning on Mix 98.1. You can catch them each weekday morning from 5.30 to 9.00. Intercom Richmond also owns Q94, Big 98.5, XL102, 106.5 The Beat, Fox Sports 910, and News Radio 1140 RVA, and also 96.1 FM. Q94 is Richmond's number one hit music station with Elvis Duran and the Q94 Morning Show. XL102 is Richmond's alternative rock with Elliot in the Morning, Big 98.5 Country, live and local with Big Bill Drake in the Morning. Intercom Richmond says they are thrilled to be part of the exclusive radio partner to the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. And they've got Hogwarts on board. <laughs> Magic. That's cool. A van pulling a sleigh. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, let's get another perspective of the parade. Let's head down to our friends, Kristen and Reba. Hi, hey guys. Ron. Hey, guys. You know, a little drizzle out here, but feels great, huh? Yeah, it's fine. Look, I took my gloves off, so okay. it's really not that bad. They might be bright red, but that's okay. So what do we have behind us? Of we course, we have up. a lot of... The, the elf balloon that was just coming yes. by. We have about, ooh, about 20 handlers handling the elf balloon. And you know what? It makes me a little nervous that they're going to be going underneath the actual stoplights, but they're pros. They're professional, Reba, and they know exactly what they're doing, so navigating down the parade shouldn't be a problem for them. And they're doing a pretty good job with the elf balloon. All right. They look good. And I know you saw what was coming up behind them. We have um, the Crossroads Irish Dance yeah, Troupe. Yeah, 13th year participating in this parade, proudly celebrating their 18th year offering Irish dance education to dancers age five to adult in Richmond. They look great. We saw them practicing earlier today, Kristen. They were just energized. They have so much energy, and I love that their ponchos, they, they came prepared. Yeah. And like you said, it's not too bad out here, but again, they're just prepared, and that's nice to have that on their way. I mean, they have a trek down they Broad do. Street. And they are members of the World Irish Dance Association and board certified instructors. Dancers have been in local, regional, and world competitions, as well as professional shows, so they know what they're doing. Exactly, and the dancers have had opportunity to train with teachers from Irish dance shows including Bush Gardens, River Dance, and Lord of the Dance. Wait a minute, did you just see them just be went? They're doing their little dance right now, the little river dance. They're so in sync with each other too. When they can hear that music, they go to uh -huh. it. Like you said, we love their costume, their hair, everything. They are just not a hair out of place. <laughs> Look These at ladies are working it. I love it. Hi, yeah, she's waving to the camera. Good to yes. see you. We're having such a great time out here in front of the Science Museum. <laughs> Quick little chant. Oh, I love that lady's hair. We saw her walking by. She did the yes. Christmas tree hair. I <laughs> love Mark it. From VCU's Institute for Contemporary Art. Mark and VCU's Institute for Contemporary Art Building with branded colors. Markel is a major sponsor of ICA. Markel Corporation supports arts in the community. On their, On their flow today is Virginia Commonwealth University's VCU Institute for Contemporary Art, ICA, and Markel Center. And now open Tuesday through Sunday with free admission. The ICA is a non-collecting contemporary art space. That means they rotate exhibitions frequently, and there's always something new to see that the ICA open late on Wednesday nights and often have free programs like the ICA Cinema, Artist Choice Events, and free concerts. And look who is that coming right here. Owen's a minor float, and their thing this year, the little drummer boy. You love the little <laughs> drummer boy this time of year. It's great. Owens a Minor is a global healthcare solutions company that delivers exceptional value to its customers, both manufacturers and providers, ultimately serving patients across the globe. Owens and Minor is proud of its culture, where teammates support the communities where we live and work. Founded in Richmond in 1882, I bet you didn't know that, Owens and Minor continues to hold a strong home base in the Central Virginia region. Our footprint extends across the globe with approximately 18,000 and teammates serving the healthcare continuum. Wait a minute, Owens. let's talk about Frosty here. Frosty balloon. <laughs> yeah, Frosty is 35 feet tall and requires six team balloon handlers. It weighs 60 pounds and is made in 2008 out of PVC and took six weeks to make. This snowman is a jolly, happy soul. It used to be jolly this time of year. So it's jolly holidays. and not quite frosty, not yet, uh -huh. but it's difficult for him to go bumpity bump bump <laughs> since he's filled with helium, but you can look at Frosty go. Look at him. And nice. All right, we're going to send it over to our colleague, Greg McQuaid. 
Hey, Greg. Hey, Reba and Kristen, good morning to you. I'll tell you, here's a guy that doesn't need any handlers, 16 handlers. <laughs> Chip Tarkin, great to see you, my friend. You know, Greg, great to see you. And you know, I love this day. It, you're right, I need a lot of handlers for me. I can promise you that. Isn't this great, though? I it love is, this, I love there's this. There's so much energy, just like you bring every day. What does this Christmas parade mean to you, my man? You know, Owens and Miner, this is our 32nd consecutive year out of the 35 years that it's been going on. Our folks are having a blast. I mean, this is, we love this. This is fun. And you know, I, I, I could do this every day, I think. It just doesn't get any better than this parade. You know, the people in the crowd feed off your people there at Owens and Miner as well. Yeah, you know, I, I think it's a back and forth. We love to be involved in the community. What better community event? And if you're not here, you ought to be ashamed. It's gorgeous. It's Christmas weather. Come on. All right, my man, Chip, you need to catch up with I that do. frost Thank event. You. Great to see you, Chip. It's a pleasure, man. Happy New Year, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you, buddy. We love you, man. All right, right now we got more Christmas parade coming up. The Vinny and Judy Christmas parade coming up more right after this. CBS Six, we'll be right back. Frosty the snowman is a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a brand new vehicle from Rick Hendrick Chevy Buick GMC Richmond. Skip the one horse open sleigh and enjoy holiday deals on our huge selection of Buicks and GMCs. We've got over 700 vehicles to choose from. A gift from our family to yours. We are professional grade. Visit us today just a quarter mile past Short Pump Mall on West Broad Street or online at HendrickRichmond.com. You too can be a Hendrick driver. Hey, baby, how are you? I have a surprise for you. At Dominion Energy, one in five new hires is a veteran. Really? You're pregnant? Ah, can you believe it? And when they're away, they miss out on a lot. He's beautiful. But they won't miss out on financial support because we cover any difference between their military pay and their Dominion Energy salary and continue benefits for them and their families. Why do we do it? Because our vets sacrifice enough. Dominion Energy. At AAA, we work hard to make sure your vehicle's in tip-top shape. And to ensure you get safely back on the road, whether on four wheels... Or two. From booking your dream vacation... To helping you find your next career. And discounted tickets. To protecting your home and your car. And our kids. We are your advocate for safety on the roadways. We are your This CBS 6 special presentation of the 35th Annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade is sponsored in part by Alan Furs. Have a safe and happy holiday season. This CBS 6 special presentation of the 35th Annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade is sponsored in part by Sutton Clark. Wishing you a safe and happy holiday season. At your neighborhood Kroger, you'll find the freshest produce yet, priced right. Plus everything else you need to celebrate the season deliciously. That's how you holiday. Your order shipped to Ho Ho Home. That's how you holiday. Well, we hope you are. We hope you are enjoying the 35th annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. We're having a great time, and all these people that have been out here since some of them seven o'clock this morning have already seen some great sights and sounds. And the parade kicks off here at the Science Museum of Virginia and heads all the way down Broad Street to Seventh Street. Again, this is the 35th year for this wonderful parade in the city of Richmond. Gets the holiday season underway. We had the big grand illumination last night, and things will go on for the next three weeks in the holiday season here in the Richmond area. The next unit you accept is the Bon Secours Richmond Health System Float. Their theme, the good ship, Lollipop. A bon Secours Richmond Healthcare System includes four hospitals, a college of nursing, and a school of medical imaging. They're an active in-community health outreach program dedicated to providing high-quality, compassionate care where the community needs it. It's a great float that they've been working on there. Again, their theme, the good ship, Lollipop. It's Santa Elmo. Patient First features the Santa Elmo balloon. This balloon is 50 feet tall, weighs about 140 pounds. 
It took eight weeks to make Santa Elmo. This cute, cuddly, courageously curious three and a half year old always finds a way to make the most of and show the good side of whatever situation he's in. Great teaching lesson for our children. An eternal child and perennial optimist, Elmo is the very essence of Sesame Street innocence and enthusiasm. And again, sponsored by Patient First, which opened its first medical center in Richmond in 1981 and has provided convenient, cost-effective, urgent and primary care ever since. Yeah, no appointments necessary. Each center with an on-site lab test, x-rays, prescription drugs. By the way, Elmo at 50 feet tall, one of our bigger balloons and one of the big draws out here in the parade too. Yeah. Huh? The patient first physicians and support staff wish you and your family a wonderful and healthy holiday season. Hey, you might recognize that deer. That is Mike Stone, <laughs> one of our meteorologists. You're looking at the CBS 6 team. There was Storm Rider and our CBS 6 Gibbs float. There's our good friend Julie Bragg, who anchors the 5 and 5.30. And there's uh, Walter and our chief meteorologist, Zach Daniel. Walter has his own Facebook page, by the way. If you haven't already liked it, make sure you do because Walter will actually talk back to you. <laughs> and behind that is the perennial, that is Mosa Hippolyte handing out things. I don't know what they're handing out, but maybe they'll hand us some as well. <laughs> Candy canes. There's Laura French. <laughs> Doing, Doing the floss, floss dance. <laughs> <laughs> Holiday flossing. That is fantastic. We're very excited this year because not only are all of our good friends there. Uh, hey, Ooh. there's, yeah, Mike Goldberg's here. Uh, but Storm 6, our Storm Rider is here. And as you can see, Nikki D and Louie are in the passenger seat. Storm Rider, what you're looking there is a tool we have to help cover the weather across Central Virginia when it gets wild. <laughs> and on board the float, let's go to our Candace Burns and Bill Fitzgerald. Hi, good guys. morning, guys. Uh, hey Hi, guys, good, good morning. morning. It's so exciting to see all these smiling faces, people waving at us. We're on top of the CBS 6 gifts float. We are for now, anyway. <laughs> but we're out here, as you know, this is the big month for our giving. Every day we get to do something else different for somebody in the community. And so today is December 1st. we got a whole another 30 days or so to Yeah, give. it's my favorite time to go out and just surprise strangers and viewers and encourage them to do something nice for other people in the community. It's so fun to watch the ripple effects. And we're also giving out what we call CBS swag here That's at the right. parade. <laughs> in, case, in case you have a little stress, this is the perfect stress Orgies ball. and sunglasses, we got you covered. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we we also have some surprises that we're going to get off the float and go and surprise some people in the audience. So we're excited about That's doing right. that as well. But you have to be here to get that surprise. <laughs> so guys, it's great. As you know, the weather is warming up just a little bit and the rain has abated, so it's a perfect day. Yeah, it's a good time to be on the float. Back to you guys. All right, there you see uh, Nikki D. Ray. She's yeah, there with Louie. Obviously Louis. the crowd. Hey. Hi, guys. We're having a good time in-store rider. And this car is unbelievable. We got it for all of you guys. And the reason we have it is so we can give you the most up-to-date information on all the storms tracking across not only the Commonwealth, but up and down the East Coast. Obviously, you can tell we've got a camera inside, but Robin, cue the camera above. It is 360 degrees. We love seeing all these smiling faces. Look at everybody cheering on, having a great time. This is the way to kick off some Christmas. December 1st, so many people out here. And you know, a lot of times people go, oh, it has to be sunny. No, this is a rain or shine parade because everybody smiles bring the warmth. I mean, we've got people everywhere. Some people have even been out here since 4.30 a.m. I'm talking about Demetrius. He was out here, I would like to say bright and early, but it was dark and early. Super, super early out here. A lot of fun. We got Robert hanging out with us this morning. Robert, what do you think about all the joy happening? Come oh, on up. Oh, it's going to be great. I mean, we're right here at the Science Museum. When we hit Broad Street, we're going to go all the way down. we got lots of goodies. It's going to be a fun time. It's finally stopped raining, Nikki. That's the thing. I told y'all. I did, said that the rain <laughs> would stop. It's more of a mist, too. Misty How, conditions? Misty conditions misty out there. Shout out to our um, yes. assistant news director, who's actually EPN this um, <laughs> wonderful broadcast. Absolutely. We're getting ready for a great time, but i got to find you props because I need some rolls. We'll find Cheryl it. Cheryl Rob. Yeah, Bobby Thank Craps was here, handed a whole bunch to, uh, to us just a little bit ago. We've been sharing them with our friends and sharing them with the crowd. 
And the Stormrider 6 well, is... I need some. <laughs> Stormrider 6 Bobby. is amazing to, to watch because th that unit is so big and so amazing, so it's nice to be able to introduce to the crowd out here today. It's nice, too, that we've been able to use it to uh, pull our CBS 6 Gibbs float. That's uh, one of the things that we've been getting a lot of feedback from uh, our community is how much they appreciate us uh, giving. But a lot of it comes from ideas from you guys. So if you know anybody in your community who could really use a helping hand, uh, please contact us. News tips at WTBR.com. Uh, CBS 6 all month long is our month of giving, so instead of just once a week we're doing it uh, every day this month been having a lot of fun with it yeah and props to our um, marketing department for decorating the float it went from just an empty trailer to this beautiful float over the last couple of days in our back parking lot which was amazing let's highlight a couple of other uh, CBS 6 personalities there's uh, our reporter Jake Burns he covers a lot of the political events for us he's gonna run out of stuff to throw uh, to the crowd uh, he already did he ran out he ran out <laughs> Just a little earlier, you saw our uh, morning reporter, Shannon Lilly. Uh, she's been with us for uh, a few months here, and she's been doing a great job in the morning, so we appreciate her. Uh, CBS 6 this morning here at 4.30 to 7, Monday through Friday. The parade coming to a bit of a halt as they're making that turn onto West Broad Street there. We were talking about Elmo being one of the uh, bigger balloons in the parade. I think they might be having a, a little bit of an issue just trying to get around the corner with old Elmo there. But in the meantime, we've got a band. Let's uh, take an opportunity to listen to the Northumberland High School Marching Indian Band. They're directed by Walt Mallory and Molly Frazier. Field directed by drum major Trinity Taylor. Their flag captains are Emily McYoung, Latoya Patrick, Autumn Taylor, and drum captains Dawson Carlson and Nick Bradford. They're a returning participant here in the Christmas Parade. They are Northumberland County's only marching band. Let's take a listen. as we pointed out, is a live event, and um, the big balloons are, are very impressive to look at, but they can be a little bit difficult sometimes to maneuver, and we understand that Elmo's having a little problem making the turn onto Broad Street. You see Elmo uh, right there. <laughs> Elmo needs to limbo a little bit more. <laughs> Can't quite make the turn. At least the people right there are getting a really, really good look at Elmo for a while here. But I can see that they're they're making they're making some pretty good headway there. Uh, you know, down on the uh, ground near Elmo is our Greg McQuay. Let's send it down to him. Wow, we are with the folks from Camp Hope. How's it going? Oh my goodness, the energy is electric. It's amazing out here. How are you guys doing? It's amazing. They just love. What's been the most favorite thing about the parade so far? Marching bands? Who said marching bands? Who said marching bands? What else? The floats? The floaties. The floats. What do you like? I like the floats too. He likes the floats too. How are we excited for Christmas? Yeah! Of course they're excited for Christmas. Oh no, hold on. Oh my god. He needs a handler. Handlers, we almost lost a few. Hey Mike Stone, great handlers, man. Thank you so much. Sorry about the weather. It's not ideal. That's okay, we're having a great time. So, you guys have the best seats in the house right here overlooking the parade. For you, what does the Christmas parade mean for not just you, but these kids right here? Just joy and hope in the season. How about you? Just community, all being together. And tell us about the kids from uh, Camp Hope. These kids come from all over Richmond, and we do a camp once uh, every summer. And all these kids are our campers, and we just see them throughout the year and get to hang out. Have, they've had their coffee this morning, haven't they? <laughs> yes. Just a little bit of sugar. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. 
It is such a grand time right here with the kids from Camp Hope. Are we waiting for Santa? Of course they're waiting for Santa. This has been such a joy to meet the kids from Camp Hope. How are you guys doing? I think they went to Starbucks, folks. All right, we're going to send it back to you. Can we say Merry Christmas? One, two, three. <laughs> you know, there's such a thing as an inside voice. That is a parade voice. <laughs> I don't know if Greg McQuaid is, is, is more excited than the kids or not, but I would have to say he probably is. Well, you know what? On a day like today, everybody becomes a big kid. You know, it's because we're, we're enjoying the parade. We're enjoying the weather, despite the fact that it's been a little bit misty and rainy and a little bit on the chilly side. The temperature's gone up and down throughout the day. But just the warmth of the season and the companionship of the crowd is just making the, the season bright. You know, we were talking about the crowds, uh, Cheryl, that when we first got out here to uh, get the party started and start doing some rehearsals at 7 o'clock, there were people that were already lined up. They came with their chairs, they came with their blankets, they came with thermoses full of hot chocolate uh, and goodies like that. <laughs> <laughs> that. That lollipop's got to last all day. What do they call us, all day suckers? <laughs> Uh, I hope we can get this parade going so it doesn't take all day. We're getting uh, a little bit of a delay here. We apologize for that. Uh, it's something that we can't see around the corner and up in front of Elmo. Yeah, it's not, it's not Elmo. It's not Elmo, I think, we're, is what we're hearing, but something a little bit farther up the route. As we mentioned, this parade is going to go two and a half miles up Broad Street and wrap up around 7th Street. So if you're home watching right now and have never seen a parade in person, this is the perfect opportunity to head out right now if you wanted to and uh, head downtown because the parade is still about an hour away from reaching the downtown side of the, uh, the activities. All right, I think that I see in front of Elmo one of the bands starting to move down Broad Street. Again, we start here at the Science Museum of Virginia and we go some yep. two and a half miles. There is some movement. Yep, go two and a half miles down Broad Street all the way to 7th Street, the Richmond Coliseum. And then, oh, I hear some, yep, I see some people down there very, very happy. We're jumping up and down because they're starting to move, and I think you can see Elmo starting to make his way around the corner there. So that's fantastic. Again, that patient versus uh, El Elmo. A little bit of a breeze here. I don't think it's affecting the blue handlers that much, but they're going to bring him down and try to get him up and around. Yeah, he's either got to go up or down. <laughs> All right, Elmo's going to do the limbo. Can he make it? How low can you go? <laughs> Great job from the balloon handlers there. All right. And everybody here is, is a, you know, volunteering, which is wonderful to, to get everything going. There's your vantage point from Storm Rider 6. And the CBS6 family there starting to move out. A little bit of a delay there again. So again, our CBS 6 float was uh, put together in about a week, and everybody at CBS 6 kind of helped out, trying to put it all together. Had the uh, CBS 6 tower on it, and Christmas trees, it's been great. Again, behind uh, the whole group here that we've been waiting uh, to see is the Northumberland High School Marching Indian Band. They're directed by Walt Mallory and Molly Frazier, field, director, uh, field directed by drum major Trinity Taylor. The flag captains, Emily McYoung, Latoya Patrick, and Autumn Taylor. Drum captains, Dawson Carlson and Nick Bradford. They're a returning participant in the Richmond Christmas Parade. Northumberland County's only marching band, as uh, Cheryl said. I hear Star Wars music. That means the International Star Wars Costuming Organization is here. The 501st Legion. I know, Rob, they're some of your favorites. I do. I like the bad guys in all of the Star Wars <laughs> movies. Uh, they continued the, with their standalone movies this year by telling the story tale of Han Solo, Chewbacca, Lando Carusian, and others in the movie Solo, a Star Wars story, which is out on DVD right now. Uh, coming into theaters in 2019, of course, the final chapter of the current saga trilogy, Episode 9. Uh, marching again this year to represent the Lucasfilm recognized international National Star Wars costuming organizations are the Rebel Legion, the 501st Legion, and the Mandalorian Mercs. Between those three organizations marching this year, the total membership is over 16,000 costume individuals. Now the 501st Legion represents the bad guys, the Rebel Legion represents the good guys, and they're being accompanied by the Northumberland Band with the Star Wars music, how appropriate. And this is the uh, International Star Wars Costuming Organization's 501st Mandalorian Mercs. 
The Mandalorian mercs represent the bounty hunters from the Star Wars universe. The costumes showcase their own creative style. They're not solely based on visual accuracy from the Star Wars film, so don't point at them and say, hey, you don't look like one of those guys from the movie. <laughs> They're inspired by. These are more of the 501st Legion, the bad guy, Kylo Ren there. Some stormtroopers. Now, the nice thing about these Star Wars organizations is that all three are adamant about helping the community where they're located. They raise funds that go to charities, including Make-A-Wish, Toys for Tots, JDRF, Ask, Children's Hospital Foundations, and the Little Warrior Foundations. They're all volunteers. All the costumes are handmade, created by the talented fans. And, I mean, if they're making those costumes, they are very talented. And each organization has a passion for, obviously, Star Wars, and enjoy that uh, passion also with helping out the community as well. It's uh, it's really cool to you when you see them up close at just how realistic they are from the movies. I mean, all of these stormtrooper outfits, and it always cracks me up to see a, a Santa Claus hat <laughs> on a stormtrooper or antlers on a Jawa. That's fantastic. Or even Kylo Ren doing the floss dance there. But uh, these are some of the pilots from the, uh, the Empire wearing their traditional black pilot outfits. And, uh, and again, they all just look so good. Relatively new to our community is Wegmans from my hometown of Rochester, New York. That's where they started. They, um, the theme for their float is House with Children's Museum Images with Wegmans Storefronts. For the third year, Wegmans Food Market showcasing its partnership with the Children's Museum of Richmond, which is right next door to the Science Museum here. Wegmans is committed to helping customers to live healthier, better lives, and that includes sharing food and enriching neighborhoods. This holiday season, Wegmans is making a big impact in the Richmond area as a major sponsor of Legendary Santa at the Children's Museum of Richmond. And through its support of the Salvation Army's Angel Tree Program, the Christmas Mothers, and the CarMax Tacky Light Run. Wegmans employees and customers are also helping raise money to fight hunger through the company's month-long Give a Holiday Meal scanning campaign. That will wrap up on December 8th, and that benefits the Salvation Army's Christmas Assistance Program. They did a great job with that float, too. I like that. They did. House with Children's Museum images of Wegmans storefronts, all put together by their employees there. And they actually have a little Wegmans inside the Children's Museum of Richmond. The kids can go shopping, they can scan food, they can act like, you know, customer service. That's awesome. Hey, next coming up is the uh, Richmond Public Library float. Did you know they're the only public library in Virginia with a mascot? Yeah, Ripple. Uh, they're marching with their colleagues from Henrico County Public Libraries. Very excited about the new Fairfield Area Library that's currently under construction that's going to open in October of next year. Uh, 100 days, 100 books, 100 readers, 100 places was so much fun, so watch for more in 2019. By the way, best-selling author Lisa Scottaline will be the featured author for the 12th annual All Henrico Reads event. That's on Wednesday, April 10th, so put that down on your calendar. Uh, Don't want to correct you, that's Lisa Scottolini, because she oh, writes some awesome one? books there. Um, she was, is a former journalist gotcha. who writes uh, these wonderful mystery books. Scottolini. Lisa Scottolini, I have to remember that. I do know this, RPL is hosting author Yasmin Ward October 14th, 2019, so watch for announcements there too. Residents of Enrico and Richmond can get a free library card with both library systems. There's just something about reading a book. That's Ripple's Den there. <laughs> cute, <laughs> cute. Yeah, there is something about reading a book, especially on a nice cold day like this. How about more music? This is the Richmond Public Schools All City Marching Band, made up of students from five different schools. Participating schools include Armstrong, Huguenot, John Marshall, TJ, and George Witt. The band directors are Tom Van, Andrew Miles, Dominique Reynolds, Eric Cousins, and Nat Boyd. Uh, they've been in this parade for over 10 years. The students in this ensemble participate in district band, and many of the past participants have actually gone on to become music, music majors. So as soon as they get close enough, we're going to stop and take a listen to the band. It's nice that they can all come together like this in the, in, in the unity of the Christmas spirit and all march together. They look so good and they sound so good with just a short amount of practice as a group. I'm sure a lot of these young ladies out here dancing and gentlemen in the middle are inspiring some of the children in the crowd to say, hey, I want to do that when I get a little bit older. 
Maybe not in cold weather like this, but you know, that's part of the job. It's nice to see the different uh, uniforms that they wear come together. That's, that's cool. Here comes the band behind them. Again, these are uh, students from five comprehensive schools. Armstrong. These guys are going to be doing this for two and a half miles down Broad Street. So there are people all the way down at 7th Street that uh, aren't going to see these guys for about another hour and a half or an hour. And, 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 and uh, they're just going to play the whole way. So we, we have to commend them for their commitment here. Big smiles now, big smiles when they get to the end. <laughs> There's something amazing being right next to the band and the drums when they're going. I mean, you can feel it right to your bones. <laughs> it rumbles you up here. They are. There is the mayor of Richmond on the city of Richmond float. The theme is Richmond Skyline. Hashtag number one RVA brought to you by Richmond Parks and Rec. Mayor LeVar Stoney, the city of Richmond proud sponsor of the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade for the 35th consecutive year. Under Mayor Stoney's leadership, the city has made great strides in improving the lives of Richmond's children. They've actually provided free bus passes this year to students, expanding after-school programs, and investing about $150 million in new facilities through Change for RVA Schools. Did you know Richmond was named one of the 10 coolest U.S. cities I can, to visit? I can believe it. Yeah. I can believe it. Uh, top 10 U.S. travel destination for 2018, the Lonely Planet says, and one of the hippest cities in the U.S that everyone under 30 wants to move to, according to Business Insider. Right behind them, the Richmond All-City Dance Team, a combined group of competition dance teams here in Richmond made up of dynamic angels, sassy divas, astounding divas, violet flames, and the heavy hitters. They are fantastic. Hey, we're going to take a quick break. You are watching the 35th annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade from Richmond. Hey guys, I'm John Burkett, CBS 6 Crime Insider. We're here with Chesterfield Police. We're going to spread some holiday cheer. It's going to be the best traffic stop of their life. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to get a warning from me today, okay? This is John Burkett. Hey, man. John Burkett, how are you, sir? Good. Instead of you having to go to the courthouse and pay a ticket, we're going to give you a $50 gift card. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my man. <laughs> Have a happy holiday. How are you, sir? I love it. I love it. At AAA, we work hard to make sure your vehicle's in tip-top shape. And to ensure you get safely back on the road, whether on four wheels. Or two. From booking your dream vacation. To helping you find your next career. And discounted tickets. To protecting your home and your car. And our kids. We are your advocate for safety on the roadway. We are your
If a great new car is topping your list this Christmas, then hurry in to Rick Hendrick Chevy Buick GMC Richmond. We've got over 700 vehicles in stock and low prices on new Chevys that'll put even the Grinch in the holiday spirit. Just think of it as a gift from our family to yours. Find new roads today, just a quarter mile past Short Pump Mall on West Broad Street or online at HendrickRichmond.com. You too can be a Hendrick driver. From our GRTC family to yours, happy holidays. Welcome back to live coverage on CBS 6 of the 35th annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. This is a vantage point from Storm Rider 6 where you can see uh, the parade down Broad Street. Uh, we've got our CBS 6 family marching. You can see the uh, Santa Elmo float and you can see the, the crowds gathered all along Broad Street here for the parade. It's been so much fun so far, but there's so much more to come. Yeah, again, we started here at the Science Museum of Virginia. This goes down uh, two and a half miles down to 7th Street. And uh, you can see all the people lined up along the uh, route there. And uh, all right, let's get another perspective of the parade from our good friends, Reba and Kristen. <laughs> you know what? I think it's guess we have to work down, but we're having fun. We could not stop yeah. moving. Every band that comes through, the girls it's that are dancing blast. coming through, we are getting up and moving just to stay a little we're bit warm. But it is so much fun behind yes, us. You can is. tell. Pick up the energy as you feel it. We have so many floats that are coming. Reba has what's coming up next. Oh, yeah. The Goodwill Baptist Church of Wana Club. Here they are coming up right now. Oh, yep. But listen to this group right here, Kristen. You know what? The crowd just keeps picking up. I know it's a little cold out here, mm -hmm. but we are having a great time out here. And I know some of the outfits that are coming by. We have some that are warm, some dressed a little bit chilly with their little <laughs> bare legs, but that is not stopping them. They are pulling off these dance moves that I just could dream of doing. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Our Goodwill Baptist Church of Wanda Club offered the Awana program for the past 46 years. Goodwill Baptist Church on Hungry Spring Road has been faithfully sharing Christ's com compassion in the West End of Richmond for over 77 years. The Awana Club has participated in all of the Christmas parades with the constant attempt to represent the hope that the birth of Jesus brought into our world. Of yeah, they one did. is an international Bible-centered and Christ-honoring children, youth, and ministry providing local church with weekly clubs and programs for preschool through middle school. The purpose and of the Awana is to reach youth and their families with the gospel of Christ and train them to serve him. Yeah, and that's a great float they have right there. Wow, that must have taken a lot of man hours uh -huh. to put that up, didn't yeah, it? Absolutely. That is beautiful. And coming up so now, we have the Richmond Police Department. The Richmond Police Department's mission is to reduce crime and serve the citizens of Richmond, which they do so well. Over the years, the police department has had a strong partnership with the citizens and business owners of Richmond. The department takes pride in knowing this partnership is a direct result of the professional displayed by the men and women of RPD. And right there is our Chief Alfred Durham became the Chief of Police in February of 2015. And a immediately implemented his five focus areas for the department. They are safeguarding the community, <laughs> customer care, technology, employee morale, and youth engagement. These five focus areas guide the department on moving forward and facing the challenges of policing in the 21st century. And you know, as a reporter, we've worked so much with the chief and just been so good and been so open and, and you know, we can call him any time to do interviews. So he's been very, very helpful. And we have to say thank you for the men and women in blue who protect and serve us every, each and every day. Absolutely. And they're there when we call. He's coming up close. I got to give him a good wave. There he is. Thank you. He's blowing kisses to us. Thank you so uh -huh. much. Everything that they do. And they're there when we need them. And right here is Richmond Sheriff celebrity dancer and actor Lil DD in the Universal Soul Circus. Fresh Clownless joins Chair Sheriff Antoinette Irving and the Richmond City Sheriff's Office. At the age of 14, he's been featured in box office films mm -hmm. and Hits Lottery and Honey. And honey, huh? All right, <laughs> Sheriff Irving is an avid proponent of supporting the youth and has been a, her biggest advocate. The Richmond City Sheriff's Office Community Outreach and External Programs Department has delivered an estimated 240 mills through Feedmore's Mills on Wills Program. 
Well, let's keep going. The Program and Services Department from the Richmond City Sheriff's Office helps to lower and by providing addiction counseling, education, reentry programs, and religious services to over 300 residents monthly. Look at that. They're working the crowd. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, men and women. Yes. And again, we thank them for their service as well and also so accessible just being in the media whenever we need to uh, talk to them. They're available to us. Next, we have Hill City Church. Hill City is a safe place to explore your faith. Have been known to bring llamas to church. Really? Llama drama. No llama <laughs> drama at the Hill City Church, Reba. They love Richmond and want to do whatever they can to make it better. They believe Jesus is for all people everywhere. It's a great mission, great motto to stick with. You know what? They look pretty warm, you know, despite, you know. Oh, the greatest showman. Did you see that? Oh, we love that movie too. Oh my gosh, it's so detailed. So many things that they're doing, and they're so careful with what they're doing. Look at, oh, that. Look at that. Can you do that? <laughs> Can I do that, Reba? <laughs> Maybe after the parade. <laughs> Very impressive, we gotta say. Very impressive. You know, I didn't see the movie, but I'm glad that this float is coming through because this is so many tricks, so many costumes, right. so many things to look at. They have so much that's going on. It's just a very active float. Look at that. She's so flexible yeah, and look limber. At that is incredible. Very entertaining. Here they come. And right now we have our SpaceX uh -huh. drone giving us a great picture of the parade. Oh, look at that. Nice crowd. We knew that you'd be able to see it from the sky, and you sure can. I am telling you, something about those drone shots, Kristen. It's, it's beautiful. It's amazing. It gives you a bigger and larger perspective of exactly what's coming, how much work went into this parade, what it means to be in the parade, and we are having a blast. Oh, and right here is the Richmond Christmas Mother, sponsored by RTD. This year's Richmond Christmas Mother is Daphne Maxwell Reed, a friend of mine. Oh, yeah. She is best known for her role on 1990s television show, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. She was Aunt Viv, you remember her? Yes. Yeah, Daphne Reed was the first black woman to be named homecoming queen at Northwestern University and a grace to cover of glamour. She and her husband, you know, actor Tim Reed, mm -hmm. moved to Virginia more than 20 years ago. First to Charlottesville, then to Petersburg, created Millennium, New Millennium Studios, and now they're in Richmond's fan district. Reed currently serves on the board of directors for Virginia Humanities and for Child Fund International. The Richmond Christmas Mother Fund is sponsored by the Richmond Times Dispatch and dates to the 1930s. Oh, look what we have here. This is the Abby Cadabby balloon. I love saying that too. Oh, High that's nice. Sky. And that balloon is 35 feet tall and weighs 120 pounds. It was made in 2010 and took about five months to make. It requires 18 hammers, Kristen. Abby Cadabby is one of the newest Sesame Street characters and is a fairy in training. <laughs> the Richmond oh, yeah. Times is bad. The region's largest and most experienced news organization. We cover local news, politics, business, sports, and culture like no one else. We love that. And also, you plan your tour of the region's holiday houses at richmond.com. Tacky Lights or download R2D Tacky Lights app because they're really good at that. You can get breaking news and updates in your inbox with email newsletters from the Times Dispatch. You can sign up at richmond.com slash email. Very yeah. easy. Very and easy. another sponsor with them, Addison Clark. Addison Clark is a local full service marketing agency located on Monument Avenue that provides measurable business results for local, regional, and national companies. So they're proud to be active members of the Richmond community and the website sponsor for this year's Christmas Parade. Oh! Kristen, here we go. The Richmond Urban Dance Inc., a company focused exclusively on street style dance. Can you hear them? I can hear <laughs> them. They are busting a move like nobody's business. Hey, check them out. Listen. How's everybody doing? Let's watch. Yeah. Doing all right? Go. Let's they are great. They were voted best dance company by Style Weekly two years in a row. They offer classes from preschool to adult to any skill level. Kristen, we can do it, girl. <laughs> All right, check out my boot. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm going to sit right here and keep telling you more about them. Keep an eye out in May for ticket sales. Their I Am Hip Hop show has sold out two years in a row. Wow. Their videos are getting some major attention on social media. Don't forget to follow them. And can I name drop a little bit? Yeah, Please so do. far, Missy Ellian and Tony Braxton and Phil Wright have all shared on commenting on their dance moves. Of course they have. Oh, what's a parade without Macy's? This is the Macy's float, the Christmas morning float with giant teddy bear and toys. 
message on the side of their float when you see it right there is Macy's believe in the wonder of giving. I love the detail, the presence that they it have. So you nice. know that star is so well known and that teddy bear in the back. We have a lot of happy people that are waving. Today's float yeah. represents Macy's 11th annual letter writing Believe campaign and that's to benefit Make-A-Wish. Yeah, from the beginning of November through December 24th, customers can visit their local Macy's store, drop their letters to Santa into a big red letter boxes or send online at Macy's.com slash believe. Yeah, you can do it online now. Very easy. For each letter collected in store and online, Macy's will donate $1 up to $1 million to Make-A-Wish, the national organization that grants the wishes of children with life-threatening medical conditions. All right, and bar none, dance company coming up next right here. Look at these cuties right here. Voted first runner-up in Richmond Times Dispatch Best Dance Studios. They are playing my favorite Christmas song right now by NSYNC. Merry <laughs> Christmas and happy holidays. I love you, bar none, dance company. Yes. I knew it was in sync when you said your best song. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. All right. Great group. Hey, we wanted to send it over to Rob and Cheryl. They have a very special group coming as well. Absolutely, and a, and a group that's close to my heart, guys. Uh, the We Salute Our Military banner. First, let's take a look at this drone shot. You can see uh, everybody that's all along Broad Street, that's all cool. the way to downtown. Is that's that a pretty beautiful? cool shot. Wow. <laughs> wow. It gives you some perspective of just how big this parade is. Two and a half yeah. miles and uh, almost 100 units, which is great. And again, as you were mentioning, we've got a salute to the military right now, uh, Franklin Military Academy flags. Franklin Military Academy opened the doors in the Franklin Elementary School building in 1980. They had a faculty of 10 way back then, dedicated instructors and 135 motivated cadets. They wear the military uniform daily, and they're required to represent themselves as military members and in that military manner at all times. And Academy. if you see, yeah, they're carrying the U.S. flag along with the 50 state flags and flags of the U.S., six U.S. territories this morning. And they're carrying them proudly. Good job, guys. It's fantastic. The Academy's motto, I am somebody. All right, behind them is the wonderful VMI Marching Band, sponsored by New Market Corporation. They're headquartered in the heart of the city, employing about 2,000 people worldwide. The VMI Marching Band, of course, from Lexington, Virginia, the director of the regimental band, Colonel John Brody, director of the fight band, Major Bert Mitchell. The band represents VMI throughout the nation and abroad. The band plays martial and patriotic music. Let's give them a listen. Virginia War Memorial Foundation, a vintage World War II vehicle. This is the premier state-owned war memorial in the country. It was dedicated in February of 1956. The four pillars of the memorial honor the fallen, preserve history, educate, and inspire patriotism. They currently have a big renovation going on to double their size. They're open 361 days a year. Outside grounds are open at 365 days a year at their location on Belvedere Street here in Richmond. You can learn a lot about a lot of Virginia's heroes. One of the guys who uh, profiles Virginia's heroes among us is our Greg McQuaid. Hi, Greg. Oh, I apologize for that. I thought we were throwing to Greg McQuaid there. He does a lot of great stories here on CBS 6, profiling local uh, heroes among us and uh, war veterans. We just want to thank Greg for that. We want to thank all of our military members and their families who are watching this morning. CBS 6, Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. And speaking of military, the Armstrong High School ROTC is with us here this morning as well. Known at first as the Richmond Colored Normal School, Armstrong was the first public school in Richmond for African-American students. The school's JROTC program is the oldest one in Virginia. Esteemed alumni include Virginia Randolph, Duke Ellington, Doug Wilder, and Bubba Morton. 
Their drill team has won over 200 trophies in the past 10 years. This is one of my favorite floats today. This is the U.S. Coast Guard float, uh, part of the Department of Homeland Security, of course, the longest continuous seagoing service in the United States. In case you've ever wondered what the Coast Guard does, they protect more than 100,000 miles of our nation's coastline. They're a federal law enforcement agency and a military force. And of course, there's a plethora of marching bands here in the parade today. And up next, the Virginia Union University Marching Band. The university in the city was founded in 1865. The band is only five years old, though. Virginia Union University is under the leadership of President Hakeem Lucas. The staff consists of Faisha Cousins, Director of Bands, William Prentice, Assistant Director of Bands, Abwell Whitfield, Drumline Instructor, Tony Cauldron, Dance Coach Jay Boiling, and Ashley Reagan, Flag Coach Stanley Shakespeare, Shield Coach Michael Crane, Drum Major Coach Rashad Beaver. Again, this is the Virginia Union University Marching Band. Let's give them a listen before we head to a short break. You're watching the 35th annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. Making gift giving easy for 65 years. Ugg and Hunter boots, Birkenstocks, Fry boots and handbags, Sperry's, Vera Bradley, gift cards and free gift wrapping too. Saxon, shoe and gift shopping, the way it should be. Tis the season to experience Illuminate, ho, 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 ho. the ultimate holiday light show and Santa's Village at the Meadow Event Park. Open nightly from November 16th through December 31st. Over 2 million lights dance into rockin' Christmas tunes right through your car stereo. Plus fun and games, food and shopping in Santa's Village. Make Illuminate Light Show in Santa's Village a holiday tradition your family won't forget. For more information, go to IlluminateLightShow.com. What fun it is to ride in a brand new vehicle from Rick Hendrick Chevy Buick GMC Richmond. Skip the one horse open sleigh and enjoy holiday deals on our huge selection of Buicks and GMCs. We've got over 700 vehicles to choose from. A gift from our family to yours. We are professional grade. Visit us today just a quarter mile past Short Pump Mall on West Broad Street or online at HendrickRichmond.com. You too can be a Hendrick driver. Saxon, making gift giving easy for 65 years. Ugg and Hunter boots, Birkenstocks, Fry boots and handbags, Sperry's, Vera Bradley, gift cards and free gift wrapping too. Saxon, shoe and gift shopping, the way it should be. And welcome back to the 35th annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade from the Science Museum of Virginia. I'm Cheryl Miller along with Rob Cardwell, and this is an overhead look from Sky 6. With all the people lined up along the parade route, the two and a half mile parade route, between the beginning here at the Science Museum of Virginia all the way down to the end of the parade at 7th Street downtown. Yeah, we've been kind of blessed. It started out with a little mist uh, earlier this morning, but it looks like it's kind of blown through, and we've been uh, blessed with cold and gray skies, but at least no rain. It's been fantastic. It puts us into the seasonal spirit. That's a <laughs> wonderful thing. This is the Children's Hospital of Richmond at VCU Float. Their theme is train like the one at the Short Pump Town Center. A message on the side of the float is keeping your health on track. Whether it's here in Richmond or in the North Pole, the joy of health is something every child deserves during the holiday season and all year round. Now, the Children's Hospital of Richmond at VCU provides expert and compassionate care to children and families and have been doing so for decades. They are the only full-service children's hospital in Central Virginia, and their mission, they say, is the health of all children. It's their number one priority. Hi, guys. Yeah, that is like the train at the Short Pump Town Center. You just hear the uh, little bell dinging every now and then. We have an armload of Christmas packages coming by, and all the kids riding and having a great time as mom sips on some hot chocolate or Starbucks coffee. That's fantastic. And they've got unicorns with them. <laughs> <laughs> the miracle. 
I want to thank all the doctors and the hardworking employees and the nurses at uh, the Children's Hospital of Richmond. At DCU. Great work there, yeah. Great job on the float, too. This, this is the Virginia State University Trojan Explosion Marching Band, sponsored by Radio Communications. Radio Communications authorized Motorola, Motorola sales and services since 1954. They provide two-way radios, GPS, paging services. They're in Glen Allen on Mountain Road. Now, Virginia State University, of course, was founded in 1882. It's the first fully state-supported four-year institution of higher learning for black Americans in the United States. Under the direction of Professor James Holden, Jr., the Virginia State University Trojan Explosion, known as the best band in the CIAA, is comprised of the Essence of Troy Dancers, Satin Divas Flag Corps, and the Troy Elegance Twirlers, in addition to all those wonderful musicians. And congratulations to Professor Holden, who just celebrated 34 years of service at VSU. Drumline was the first drumline to perform at the White House, performing for the 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama, during the signing of the HBCU funding bill. The Trojan Explosion, the only HBCU band selected to represent the Commonwealth, performing at the inauguration parade and inaugural ball of Virginia Governor Ralph Northam. They always put on a great show, not just the music, but also just the uh, choreography. They're fantastic. The Much Trojan in Explosion. Demand. Yeah. <laughs> Good to have them here at our parade today. All right, behind them, the Virginia Virginia Renaissance Fair out of the Woodwork Productions. This spring is the 18th season of the Virginia Renaissance Fair held in Spotsylvania County each spring. The cast is made up of around 100 volunteers from across Virginia and the Mid-Atlantic. And look at those fantastic costumes. Uh, they're of all ages and walks of life, but they have one thing in common. They share a, a passion for history and theater. Many come from the Richmond and immediate areas. When those bands walk by, you can feel your chest thumping. <laughs> That's fantastic. The Trojan explosion there. A beautiful blue float from Design Ready Controls. It was founded in Minnesota in 1989. One wire processing machine processes up to 2,000 wires an hour. They use over 3,000 miles of wire each year. They've got four locations across the United States, including here in Virginia. The average annual units built over 70,000. All right, right behind them is uh, Bonnie Bell, right? Is that her name? Bonnie, that is Bonnie Bell. Bonnie Bell, the Chesterfield Colonial Heights Christmas mother, sharing the magic of Christmas since 1972. Putting smiles on a special child's face, the light of remembrance in a lonely elder's eye, and food on a struggling family's holiday table. I want to thank everybody that's involved with Chesterfield Colonial Heights and the Christmas mother program there. In 2017, they helped more than 45 hundred people. Their mission is to ensure that no family is without food, no child is without toys, books, or clothing, and no child or elder is forgotten as we celebrate the holidays here in our community. Bonnie Inge Bell, the Chesterfield Colonial Heights Christmas mother. And now let's check in with Kristen and Reba down on the street side. Hey Cheryl, this is great. We're listening to the bands, the posts, the balloons, all of it is just great. It's, it's just so magical. much fun. It's so wonderful to see in person. For you at home, it looks just as marvelous. We <laughs> hope it's certainly picking up the Christmas cheer, the spirit of what's happening out here. The bands Love behind it. us are so good. They're so in sync. Walking together is amazing. We have a lot of information, of course, that's coming up. But this is what we're seeing. Hi, guys. She says she's talking to Santa Claus. Yeah. How have you been doing? Well, it's Santa a Chesterfield All County Band, Kristen. This is Brianna Gatch's second year as director of the band's Clover Hill High School. Clover Hill High School Band is a 13 time Virginia Honor Band. The Marching Cavaliers will be performing on a Bahamas tour in the spring of 2019, and maybe we can go on special assignment. The Bahamas <laughs> sound wonderful. I right? think we can fit in a little suitcase, and we can fit in I some think luggage. So. Yeah, the Clover Hill Band program has many concert ensembles, including symphonic band, percussion ensemble, jazz band, and wind ensemble. Clover Hill Band program will be starting its second year of the indoor winter guard in the Green Hot 
Chili Peppers Pep Ensemble in this next season. How about that? And look at this, Virginia Alley number three, Clowns of America, <laughs> the older surviving clown alley in the country when they were founded in 16, 1969. Ooh. <laughs> 1969. <laughs> I knew what you meant, Reeves. Yeah, right. So they would be celebrating 50 years soon. They entertain children of all ages at events such as Special Olympics and MS Walk. Next, we're seeing the Street Dreams Cruiser, Central Virginia's premier team of automotive enthusiasts, currently 40 members plus, and of course, they're continually growing. It is a nonprofit organization, proud members of the Car Club Council of Central Virginia, first place winners for best float in the Charles City 2017 Christmas Parade. Oh, we love that. Congratulations. All right. Hey, we have coming up the Richmond City Roller Derby. Richmond City Roller Derby was founded in the spring of 2006. The league grew and became part of the international governing body of women's flat track roller derby in 2009. Could you do that? Could you, yes, could the you? roller derby, that's the way to do it. If you're gonna if you're gonna be in this parade, I think a pair of roller <laughs> skates, that's the way to do it. Those oh, quads there, they're it. gonna make it down the parade faster than anybody else. And look at this, the Shark City Drum. Our organization was founded in August 13th, 2018. That's right. The organization was founded in August 13th of 2018. Uh, all right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. At AAA, we work hard to make sure your vehicle's in tip-top shape. And to ensure you get safely back on the road, whether on four wheels or two. From booking your dream vacation to helping you find your next career. In discounted tickets. To protecting your home and your car. And our kids. We are your advocate for safety on the roadways. Feed More is dedicated to helping our neighbors in Central Virginia who struggle with hunger. For every $1 donated, Feed More can provide four healthy meals. Feed More collects, prepares, and distributes more than 20 million meals every year. We are the hundreds of volunteers and staff who help every day. We are a network of close to 300 nonprofits standing at the ready. We are Feed More, and we believe that thriving communities start with full plates. Learn more at feedmore.org. Season's greetings from all of us at Colesville Nursery. We'd like to thank you for a great year. We invite you to come see us next year when we can help you find your roots. Remove all the stresses of decorating and enjoy this holiday season. Dominion Lightworks will help you create the perfect holiday display. Call Dominion Lightworks at 804-441-4790 to light up your holiday season. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. The lead banner. Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. Snow and All right, welcome back to the 35th annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. You are looking at a view from our Storm Rider 6 and our CBS 6 Gives Float down the parade on Broad Street. Yeah, if you've never been in a parade or ridden on a float, this is what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, uh, a lot of good... Uh, friends of ours did a lot to put that uh, float together and uh, that was Bill Fitzgerald and our Candace Burns riding along and there's the parade route that starts here from the Science Museum of Virginia heads some two and a half miles down Broad Street into downtown to 7th Street where the Richmond Coliseum is. Almost 100 units involved today everything from marching bands to dancing girls to uh, mounted horse uh, units and, and much, much more. Uh, it, it's been so much fun so far watching the, the wonderful crowd, though. I think the reactions has been one of my favorite parts. And right now, this is a unit from the Department of Fire and Emergency Services here in Richmond. Yep. All right, right behind them, the Venture Richmond Float. Uh, they bring over 500,000 people to Richmond's downtown every year with events and attractions. Uh, they work in partnership with the city and local businesses, making the downtown area a vibrant place to live, work, and play. I want to thank them for everything they do. Venture Richmond. 
And this is the Rappahannock High School Marching Band. The band was started just a few years ago in 2015 with about 10 members, and now they have over 55 members. Over the past four years, they've won multiple first place awards as well as best appearing band in numerous parades in the Northern Neck. Welcome from the Northern Neck. Out of the 55 plus members, there are only four seniors in the band, so the band's gonna sound very similar for years to come. And next year will be the largest band since the 1980s. All right, behind Rappahannock is the Sportsbackers CarMax Tacky Light Run Float. Uh, not only do Sportsbackers put on the CarMax Tacky Light Run, they produce over 16 events annually throughout the area. We want to thank them for all they do. Uh, the Tacky Light Run it takes place each year in Chesterfield County with over 3,000 participants. Kids Run RVA, a program of Sportsbackers, the official event charity for that race. That's what they call it when I run, Tacky Run. <laughs> Your running style. Right? That's right. <laughs> Hey, you know, they have around 70 run clubs, if you're interested in the Richmond area, that prepare kids to participate in events and develop a love of running. So if you want to get your kids active, get them involved with sports backers. That's right. Kids Run RVA is a program, the official event charity for this race. And that's uh, coming up soon. Or did they just have it? I can't remember. <laughs> it's around the corner. But it's like a, a moving light bright. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. What a beautiful shot of the Science Museum of Virginia. If you've never been down here, you ought to check it out. It's a great venue. All right, these are the Motions of Rain Majorette Dance Team, competitive dancing team with children ages 4 to 18. They competed and performed as far as Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and they're located in eastern Henrico County. They performed um, in a competition hosted by the TV show Bring It, and their motto is building self-esteem through performance. Again, the Motions of Rain Majorette Dance Team. They're going to strut their way up Broad Street. <laughs> and up next, Knife Life Entertainment and from the Hearts Events RVA, always known for giving back to RVA via free events to families, especially focusing on children. They say community involvement is strong and very important to them. Their organization is made up of love and dedicated people. All right, this is the Positive Hits Per Van, Virginia's Positive Hits 90.5. Uh, they're a station for encouraging and uplifting music throughout the year. All this month, 90.5, your Per Presents. We can't wait for Christmas weekend so you can enjoy Christmas favorites while you celebrate the season. They're completely supported by their listeners, so they don't play commercials on 90.5. Right behind them, Endorphin Fitness and the Live Red Fountain Float. Endorphin Fitness and the Live Red Fountain exist to, they say, bring life to individuals, communities, and families through fitness. I love the way they're cycling on the float. I don't know if that's powering the float or if they're just having a lot of exercise. From, but from what I understand, like that's what it is. They're, they're powering some of the electricity that runs some of those, uh, those speakers. So that's, that's fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, Endorphin Fitness is a Richmond uh, expert for youth and adult triathlon coaching if you've ever been uh, interested in trying to up your game a little bit. Uh, the Live, Live Red Foundation takes this passion for fitness to as many as possible. They provide fitness education, training, scholarships, and events to the greater Richmond area. I want to be the one standing up front with the megaphone. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thank you so much, the Richmond Volunteer Rescue Squad, for all you do. I want to thank them for being in the parade this year. They were founded in 1960 as the West End Volunteer Rescue Squad, a vital part of the Richmond EMS system. Uh, the Rescue Squad responds to 911 calls here in the city of Richmond, of course, assisting RAA on a citywide basis. They, uh, their volunteers have been serving Richmond now for 58 years. There are so many organizations that work to better our community, so we want to say thank you to all of them. The snowflake, snowflake balloons. Don't say snowflake. <laughs> <laughs> Not ready for snow yet. Not <laughs> quite yet. This is the Delta by Marriott SMI Hotel Group. Experience simple made perfect at Delta Hotels by Marriott Richmond downtown. They're at 555 East Canal Street. 298 guest rooms and suites with views overlooking the stunning James River. Over 13,000 square feet of beautifully designed meeting space. You can check out more details at DeltaRichmond.com. Beautiful balloons. Delta by Marriott SMI Hotel Group. 
And the good news is the wind has died down a little bit, so the handlers are having a little bit easier of a time with the big balloons, though the snowflakes seem to be flying just a little bit. <laughs> as long as they're there and not like real snowflakes, absolutely. And again, the weather is cooperating. It's cold, but it's supposed to be cold. It's December 1st. Mm -hmm. A lot better now than it was, say, at uh, 9 o'clock this morning, 10 o'clock this morning. We had a bit of a drizzle, even though we were underneath a, a covered uh, set here. Uh, the mist was actually blowing sideways. We had to have a, an umbrella on us, and everybody had their umbrellas out. I don't see any umbrellas out now. Nope, the but crowd just sitting and enjoying the parade. Yeah, a big thank you to all the crowd who came out to watch the parade in person today, and to those of you who are watching from the comfort of your home today. Well, these wonderful shots were also being provided by our drones here. We've also had the CBS6 Storm Rider van going down Broad Street, giving you a perspective of what uh, some of the parade participants are seeing. There you uh, go, that's our, the perspective. Yeah, there's our Candace Burns on the left right. and uh, Merry Anchor Christmas. Bill Fitzgerald waving and wishing everybody a Merry Christmas on the back yes. of our CBS6 Hi. month yes, of giving float. <laughs> Hi, Bill. Merry Christmas, brother. Hi. Merry Christmas. Hey, Robert, it is going great. <laughs> there are so many people out here. I mean, you have to wave to all of them, and uh, we're all here. They all know about CBS 6 Gives, and every day we try to do something out in the community and ask folks to pay it forward. It's really a perfect day. Wouldn't ask for any better weather. It's definitely fun to see all the smiling faces, everybody waving. It's so exciting, even with the cold weather, that warms your heart. Cold so it's weather? Awesome. It's, it's, a, it's a little cold. It's and we're talking about cold. the weather. Right. I saw, I saw okay. one snowflake. I just saw a snowflake. <laughs> And I'm not talking about the balloons, so. All right, you guys have fun. <laughs> this is the Prestige Dance Studio, providing both competitive and non-competitive dance classes in all different types of dance, including ballet, tap, jazz, point, lyrical, contemporary, hip-hop, creative movement, and pre-ballet. They view dance as not just an extracurricular activity, but as an art that inspires education and confidence and creativity, and also individual growth for the dancers. Uh, they approach the, the, to progressive education instruction focuses on nurturing the individual and challenging them as dancers. And they're going to show it off for the crowd here today. It has been a great crowd. Uh, we've met so many people from, uh, they, they came from the Northern Neck. Uh, we met them inside uh, with some people from Mechanicsville, some people from Chester, uh, some people all the way from uh, Lynchburg, Virginia, coming to check out the parade live. Uh, so this is a pretty big deal. We want to thank everybody who uh, joined us here at the Parade Live or is watching us on CBS 6 right now or online and as we stream this. Here comes Santa Claus. <laughs> Union Bank and Trust presents legendary Santa riding on a sleigh over clouds. Union Bank and Trust pleased to sponsor the legendary Santa float for a seventh year. As Virginia's only statewide independent bank, Union Bank and Trust has over 140 branches where they serve customers no matter where they live, work, or play. Voted Virginia's best bank by Forbes and Money Magazine, Union is Virginia's bank, headquartered right here in Richmond. And presenting Santa, and our Greg McQuaid is headed to talk to Santa. <laughs> Putting his climbing oh, skills to work. <laughs> Santa Claus! How are you? Wow, this is such a treat. Good to see you, my so friend. Wonderful to be seen. And I thank the people of Richmond for coming out on this cold, wet morning that I love being. I love flying down here from the North Pole and spending time with uh, all my friends. Santa, you are the man of the hour, the week, the, the month. How and... How special was it to carve out some time for the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade? Oh, it's wonderful. It is. I, I love coming down here to the Children's Museum to see all my friends and, and you know, legendary Santa. But to actually come out and see everyone personally, I love it. It is, it is dear to my heart. It makes my day. And it, it is so wonderful to hopefully bring some joy to all these wonderful folks who are wonderful. Santa, you bring joy 365 days. What do you think of Santa Claus, folks? Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! With that, Santa, thank you so much. A lot of good boys and girls out there, big and small. There are, absolutely. And it's so wonderful to be out here with my Snow Queen and just seeing everybody that we possibly can. But above all, I want everyone to remember to find the joy in every day and be absolutely certain you're as kind as you can to be to each other. And remember, old Santa loves you. Aww. We love you, Santa. I'll tell you. I'm a little nervous, I've got to say. <laughs> Robin Sarah will send it back to you. I hope you've been a good boy too, Greg. Good luck. <laughs>
Be careful. If Santa decides to take off, you're in trouble. There is definitely a star of the show here for yep. the parade, and it is Santa Claus. And, and as Santa makes his way down the, the route, you know you can come visit this particular Santa, legendary Santa, at the Children's Museum of Richmond through the holiday season with the Snow Queen. He's got a lot of work to do between now and Christmas, making all those toys for all the good boys and girls out there. And he is making a list and checking it twice, so hopefully all the good little boys and girls of all ages up and down the parade route have been good all season long and uh, wave to Santa and tell him how that they've been ni nice, not naughty. It's been a great parade this year, as it is every year. This is the 35th annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. We've seen a lot of great things. One of my favorites was seeing the huge Elmo balloon. Let's get a check with uh, Kristen and Reba. What was your favorite part of the parade? Well, first of all, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I was a little late on that. Sorry, Reba. Uh, we had so much fun. The bands, we just couldn't stop moving. I think as soon as I heard the bands come through every time, it was like either my toes started going, then the rest of it started going. I was like, OK, it is really not that cold as yes. long as you're moving. It feels pretty great out yes. here. You know what? It is cold out here, but you know what? We just had a blast because, I mean, it's, it's the holiday spirit. And yes. it started to really fill up the people back here, the stands and all that. It was just a great, magical time. I love, of course, that it started off with our Grand Marshal Snoopy. That was so fun. The kids standing nearby, I mean, their faces lit up through all the bands that we saw, all the entertainers <laughs> that came through to the end with Santa. Did I just see Greg McQuaid on the Santa oh, float? He got the hookup of being next to Santa. <laughs> Let's go out to Greg. Where's Greg McQuaid? All right, thank you so much, folks. How was that? <laughs> Amazing. Santa Claus, I'll tell you. Was it great seeing Santa Claus? Yeah. What did you say to him when he's, as he went by? Uh, nothing. Nothing? <laughs> You're too starstruck right here. Hey, guys, how has this parade been so far? Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you, this is the best seat in the house right here, folks, because not only is there a lot of energy, it's nice and warm, surrounded by everybody as well. What has been the best thing about this parade, my man? Santa coming. Santa coming as well. And everybody's been good, right? All right, so Santa's listening and Santa's watching with all of his elves. What do you want for Christmas? Go! iPhone! iPhone? He has to Oh, my God! Oh, 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 goodness! Oh, goodness! Oh, my God! I hope they get all those gifts and more, Greg. That is fantastic. Hey, one of the great things that we had for this year was our Nikki D, who was in Storm Rider, giving us a participant perspective of the parade. Let's go to her live in Storm Rider. Merry Christmas. I'll tell you, this is the spot to be in. We are getting to see every single person as we drive by. The children, there were two little girls, separate families, seven weeks old. Talk about starting them young. Get them excited to be about Christmas. I was impressed that the mamas were up and dressed with makeup on. Hat off to those mamas. But what a wonderful time. So many lovely faces. Can we take the camera? Is that okay with you, Robin? And show what's going on in front of us. I mean, there's so many people, so many laughs, loves. And I love seeing all the little ones. Hi! He's right here. Everybody wants to know where Louie's at. Louie's with us in the car. There's a front of Storm Rider. You can tell we're still walking right on down. We're about to pass North 6th Street. So I know our coverage is beginning to wrap up, but if you are around the Richmond area, get out here. We're going to go all the way down to North 10th Street. There's still plenty of parade for you and your family. Hey! For you and your family to see and enjoy. This is about making memories and that's exactly what we're doing here today we're making so many memories so many new friends hey merry christmas and robin cheryl this is one of my favorite parades that i love that we have so many people out despite that little bit of rain we had hey rain's not ruining our parade Absolutely. not at all nikki d thank you and thank you to your crew as well I want to say a big thank you to the entire CBS6 family who uh, was a part of putting this production together because it is a big undertaking. And we had vantage points for you at home watching from everywhere in the area, from Storm Rider 6, from Sky 6, our drone, from our jib cameras, from our on-the-ground cameras, a little bit of everything, and uh, just a wonderful family team that puts this on every year. Yeah, all the crew that are behind the cameras, the people, like you said, the people operating the drone, the producers that are pushing all the buttons that go into the 
right cameras. Thank you so much for all your hard work and all the volunteers to help put this on. Because you don't think about all the people that have to, uh, uh, you know, make sure that the uh, the parade, the floats and the parade balloons get lined up and, and down the down the street. A lot it's of volunteers fantastic. to make it go. Now we want to let you know that if you'd like to see and relive all the magic of, uh, magic of this parade once again, we're going to re-air on Christmas morning at 9 a.m. the 35th annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. Uh, before we go, I think it's important that we talk about uh, our CBS 6 month of giving. Uh, all this month, we do whatever we can to try to help some people in need in our community. And let's go ahead and make this holiday season about that for you. If you know of anybody that needs some help, please reach out to them. Sometimes just a hug is all someone needs. Uh, just a random act of kindness can make a, all the difference in the world to somebody's day. You never know, you know, if they're having a good day or a bad day. And if you just do one thing, even just a simple smile can make all the difference in the world. So remember, CBS 6 gives and also try to do something nice and then have someone pay it forward, which is always a nice thing. So again, the Christmas Parade wrapping up the 35th annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade live from the Science Museum of Virginia. Again, we're going to rebroadcast for you on Christmas morning starting at 9 a.m. From our family to yours, Merry Christmas and have a great day, everybody. Happy holidays. Have a great day.